Welcome back, everyone. I want to make good on my promise and deliver to you guys the exact sauce that I used in my grilled pork chops and mushroom gravy video. Hey, so you already know what time it is. Let's make it a vibe. All right, here's all the ingredients right here, the exact shopping list of things that I used to make that. So button mushrooms, fresh thyme, yellow onion, garlic paste, brown and seasoning, and of course, to start the show, that chicken base. Now, if I'm going too fast at any point in this video, keep in mind, rewatch it again, and you can always slow it down. All right, let's go. So now, you're gonna start off with those onions. You're gonna small dice those onions, and what we're doing right now, early on, keep in mind, is what we're doing. We are building our flavor profile with our aromatics. So next, slicing those button mushrooms, getting those all ready. We're going straight to a nice hot saucepan on medium to high heat. And then I'm using avocado oil. And what you wanna do is just follow along just like I'm doing. I'm sauteing those onions, getting that color on there. And when your onions look like mine, then you're gonna add those mushrooms to it. We're gonna cook these down just like you see me doing, making sure you keep moving them in the pan. And then once you get that color right there, then you're gonna add your garlic paste to it. Now, garlic paste only gonna cook for about 30 seconds. And then from there, we're gonna add our water and deglaze the bottom of our saucepan, which is basically taking all of that flavor that's stuck to the bottom of the pot and bringing it into your sauce. Next, we're gonna add about four or five of those twigs from the fresh thyme. And then after that, one tablespoon of your chicken base. And what this does is it gives your sauce body like richness and flavor. And once the leaves are cooked off all of the fresh thyme, you can remove it out of there. And the exact measurements to the flour and water that I'm using right here that'll be in the description below. Now, before you start adding that flour and water to thicken the sauce, you see all of that ring of oil and grease that's around it? Nah, you wanna remove that because it's gonna be in your sauce. You don't want a nasty, greasy sauce. So let's go ahead and take that out really quick. And once you've skimmed it, this is what you're left with. All of that nasty oil. Nah, we don't want that. You want it nice and clean, just like that. Now you're gonna reduce the heat to like a low to medium heat, adding the flour and water and making sure you continuously stir in it to keep it from browning. And your final step is to add the browning seasoning, which I'm only gonna add about maybe a teaspoon to it. If you want it a little bit darker, that's up to you. A little bit lighter, that's up to you as well. Just be careful so you don't add too much and make it bitter. Now, if you're getting any value from this, do me a favor, like it, share it, drop lots of comments, and I appreciate you for watching. And here is your brown mushroom gravy.